at a particular market. It's actually called uh, the Rongai Market. And there? Talanta. So, Talanta. Oh, it is an open air market. And uh, actually, right now, I have some guys with me here. You can see this man here. He sells bells. We have uh, this other man here. He's a cobbler. Yes, he's a cobbler. He makes uh, the shoes. And uh, uh, he has allowed me to ask some questions. So I'm going to do that real quick so that we get to the market and see what the others are selling over there and also what is happening right over there. So, we uh, are. Uh, you can talk in English. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so, the, so Michael is telling us, uh, I've told you he's a cobbler or a shoemaker. So he's saying that one of the biggest uh, biggest challenges they have in the Yawaki is uh, capital because he's a small entrepreneur or he's just trying to raise his business. So coming up with capital to start making shoes, it's a, it's a challenge to him. What are the other challenges? So uh, Michael is telling us that uh, you know his work is uh, to make shoes, but uh, for now, you know, even right now, not so many people take their shoes to the cobbler. And also, we have a problem with the people right now being in a January, being at a January. We know the sun is out in a choma what to be by a sun. So. Akuna Pesa, there's no money, so when I bring my shoe here, I want a discount. So at the end of the day, you find that this person, instead of even making a profit, he's incurring losses because I've, I'm, I'm coming here, I want my shoe to be made, but at the end of the day, I have to bargain, you know? Yeah. So when when you bargain, he's not making any capital, he ends up uh, using his um, resources, but not returning any profit, there's no profit. But um, kuna changa watu zingine. But acha nikuulize since tunaongelelea capital mbona Ruto amepeana hustlers fund wewe kama hustler joeni hustler kuna vile imekusaidia imekusaidia okay so do you think Ruto ata iko chini iko chini ya sana mm mm ya sana ya Sindo hiyo, uko lime kusaidia kwa sababu kusaidia kweli. Ni ndogo sana. Na how much do you need to start this type of business? Capital ngapi ya kuanza na kukume eh hii hapo tunaongelea. Ni 
kucheza kwa mbele na kupea 10000 utakuwa na umbrella utakuwa na kila kitu Unalipia now the government keeps on telling them to get inside but when they get inside because this is a food market they are told you're not supposed to be inside food and uh, um, uh, these belts are not supposed to be mixed with food so it gets crazy it's for a them. challenge like, Wako hapa, the other day Ni you'll find, ya yes, you'll find them here, and the next day you find them there or they are not even there because they have been chased away and mind you they have to pay 0 0.3 dollars a day, day yeah. a every day because now they have to face the county municipality and it is very sad for them because you're seeing this is a hassle you might come here you might um, be having your belt and uh, not sell even one. You might even, you're seeing like this man right now, he's not working, maybe because he doesn't have clients, he doesn't have customers. But, Baba, you make a phone to Dana. I hope you're a mom, you're a little bit of 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 a little bit so the best thing in there is to Okay, this guy was trying to explain uh, about the hustlers fund and just like we told you it is an enslavement uh, thing because you have heard from him i wish you could hear swahili because uh, he's actually saying that uh, this money is not even helping him in any way because he might take that uh, five dollars but at the end of the day how is it uh, how is it supposed to, uh, to feed him uh, house him and also like even clothe him this is a less money and also do you remember these people are people with a family so it gets difficult for them and he's actually saying that instead of the government instead of the government uh, giving them uh, five dollars they just have to maybe provide uh, working equipment for them 
and uh, that is uh, now how it will be investing like, in the country. Yeah. 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 For them to invest, mm-hmm. so it's easier. Yes. But we've seen they have given the loan, but it's not helping. Yes. You can see him speaking yeah, about no. the hustlers fund, mm-hmm. but he just said yeah. mm-hmm. he's saying for specific, like come up and you only be done. Oh yeah, yeah, true. True. They start their own investment. Mm-hmm. I was in. Right here, we met this charcoal seller, and uh, he gave us a couple of tips when it comes to charcoal selling. And I think I'm just gonna allow Katie to grab the opportunity to maybe talk to him so you can see what's really popping. He was asked challenges, how many, uh, how long he has been on the game, and of course, he did give us his shares but he was joking a lot <laughs> but i hope you get to listen to him akuna customer kila time sindio eh He has been in this business for six years, and uh, he's saying that uh, one of the biggest challenges they have with their business is that they are no customers. Because right now we we are in the in the digital times. It is uh, we are at a place where that uh, so many people are using gas, and uh, we, we don't have uh, we don't have so many people left using charcoal. But we have the few. Because we have the few. We are seeing people buying a but, uh... Yeah, it's like I said, he was joking a lot, but at least he did get to interact with us. He gave us his challenges. He told us that even at times when they buy charcoal, maybe a one, you know, they order uh, the sacks of, uh, you know, charcoal. They find that sometimes it's just maybe a pack of sand packed in there, you know in the in the sacks you know which is really really crazy so you can see even the scamming sheet also you know affecting the business people he'd been on a january he can say for him he said for him business is not that bad it's not that good it's fairing so yeah we did get to talk to him but uh let's go on as you get to see what's popping ahead and of course we also had this lady over here she was supposed to send this other guy uh, to talk. <laughs> to talk. I guess most of the people are just scared of camera for no reason. Yeah, and uh, they were just happy souls. Yeah, that's all I can really say. But yeah, in case maybe you did miss the live video, you can still catch it up on the Kate Newsom channel. But remember, in case you're new on this channel, kindly remember to like, subscribe, and also share with your friends and family and remember these are some of the things we're gonna meet in case you come to africa and it's good to be prepared and be aware of what you're coming to meet next i'm a seal yeah
and bring your broken phone over here and uh, also now now I'm going to come Come on, let's get up So this is uh, also yours. Okay. Uh, so this guy also sells uh, different uh, clothes. These are for kids, young children, uh, maybe at the age of uh, three, three to four years. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and uh, this are T-shirts in Uganda. How much? One hundred. One hundred. Yes, yeah, so one dollar for a T-shirt. So right here we met some people who are actually jobless. Uh, they were actually just seated here idle. And uh, this shows you the capacity and the amount of people we have who are looking for jobs. And we've been speaking about unemployment, rather lack of employment uh, in the African continent. And you get to see it at this rate because these are people who saw us passing by and they called us because they think that, you know, they have some heavy things to remove on their chest. So we went to approach them. I think they were not really ready to speak because one of the questions we're pulling up is about the hustlers fund as you have gotten to see and most of the, those people really spoken to and maybe are here to come as you get to you know move forward with the video so these guys are not ready to talk to us because they literally don't have any hustle going on they have to wait and see if any job is gonna pop up at the end of the day but they still give us a chance to come interview one of their friends yeah he is this guy gave a lot of points you know regarding the hustlers fund he spoke for like, <laughs> he spoke to us like literally for almost 30 minutes i tell you but he really gave not really i would say really amazing points because if you look at the end of the day this money has not really helped people and it's just a form of loan according to me and that is gonna change my mind about that you know and i think we've discussed this also and uh, also to most of the people we spoke to we got to see that this money has not really been helping them in any way but for him i think he did defend his uh, argument and everything i wish you guys could understand so healing most of you um but i believe most of our audience maybe will not be able to understand what he was saying but you know that's why i really did fast forward the video because he spoke to us for a long time defending his point and how the asylum fund is supposed to help and one of his points is say that this asylum fund is not given to, for people to buy ugali flour but i challenged him and asked him what if today you're given that opportunity and you don't have any job you know, am I just supposed to sit there and an opportunity presented itself to me and I don't have a gully flower at house in the house? Of course, I'm going to grab it. So uh, he did defend his point and everything. And I'm glad that he did take an opportunity to actually talk to us. I'm so, so grateful. And of course, shout out to him wherever he is. I hope he gets to see this and see himself. <laughs> Also, here yeah, we met this guy. He also had a couple of points to give. And uh, you can see we gave him also uh, his time to, you know, get to give his points uh, regarding the hustlers fund, how he feels about the current uh, economic uh, crisis. And uh, he really did speak a lot. And like I said, I wish I could really share his audio, like how he's really talking in Swahili. But at least I'm trying to translate to you guys what he was really talking about, you know. Uh, he poured his emotions. And I tell you, you guys, people have a lot of emotions to put outside here especially when it comes to our leadership because it's really really failing us uh, regarding the expectation that most most people had when they were choosing most or other majority of these leaders so yeah let's move on and see what's popping at the head of the video Uh-huh. 
Jadi guys, ini di ini ini di kopi yo lepas dari Sultan, lepas susah berpuasa. Ini saya lihat jenis apa lagi ni? Ini ni mah bercela ni ni, kau enggak? Kau kau? Nana, saya nggak saya dia. Uli lipa. Eh, uli lipa. Saya kita kas sate na, maybe kau kau nama itu aja mau kau nabi tu. Saya mau kau nabi tu nafak kubai kau nyumbang aku nafas ale. Taruh di sana kau yang asli lapan untuk kau pakai na. Di sana kau pakai. Kau nak kasi? Kau kena kasi. Ina kuele kaji saya Januari. Eh, kau sawa. Eh, kau sawa. Eh, kau sawa. Eh, kau sawa. Ndio sasa swali yangu. Ruto alikuwa akipeana ya Slafan, ilikuwa isaidia wanabiashara kuainua. Kama wewe ni mdogo unafaa uinuke nayo. Kama ulikuwa uanze from scratch, ilikuwa bado ikusaidie. But watu wengi unaona kama wewe, hamna hakuna unga kwa nyumba, vitu zimekuwa expensive. Sasa unaona hiyo sasa itaninua aje. Si ndio hiyo sasa. Sasa huwezi sema imekusaidia dadi. Nimesaidia lakini ni ile pia kutumia hapo hapo. Feli. Eh, ni hapo hapo. Ingekuwa ndagrika tatu hivi hivi. Eh. Okay. Sawa so, nafanya kazi wenzangu. Huwa yeah. anaitwa Lizzie, anaitwa Keti and uh, tuko nao pamoja. So, hi guys. Um uh, so th to so I just came here and uh, this guy I was talking to him and I'm asking him about the hustler funds and for him he has said the hustler funds has helped him because he was able to buy ugali flour, sugar, to take it back home. But this is the same discussion we've been having in the studio. After you buy this food, how do you pay back this money and you don't have maybe, uh, you don't have a, a, business, a business that is really revenue well because for him he's saying it's on a January and business is not really going well as it's expected to. So it's a challenge when you look at the hustler fund, it's January and people have to pay school fees. Children are supposed to be getting to form one, others are finishing a high school, they're supposed to go to college. So it's a lot of hecticness, you know, that is supposed to be dealt with. But for him, he says it has really helped him. I don't know how, I don't see the help there, you know? <laughs> I don't see the, the help, day, literally. I don't see the help that is really, Mr. Olive, you may say, dear, I'm not ni different perspective kila mtu ako na perspective yake though mimi i believe imesaidia mtu kiplani wenye imekusaidia tu iko sawa kai ja kusaidia <laughs> but anyway, he's saying that uh, it's at least helping people who maybe if today you wake up and you maybe request the loan, tomorrow you don't have money, you can still be able to request the loan again, buy some food for your family, but it's still not helping because the intention was hustlers coming in terms of business, you know, but there's no business that is really playing part because most of the people we're talking to, they're not speaking anything to do with business. It's just food, you know, the basic needs, literally. Go buy maybe mafuta when you best care, you know, weke mafuta ya ya piki piki, ya maya gari. Kasa babu itapaka kwa mpuka wafa, then the day kumizu mpuka kwa mpumeji. So, that's it. But anyway, it's mashkuru. Thank you for your time. Utaki kuambia serikali chochote? Serikali saidia? Serikali saidia. Serikali saidia. Azimio ni bado ni serikali. Azimio. Bado ni serikali. Sasa. Sasa ni yangu kuchukua asla. Hatuwezi kuchukua. Mtambui asla. Bona. Okay, mtambui asla lakini sijui ni mahasla. Sisi ni asla. Mtoni hata kama wewe ni asla wewe wewe naweza kuja nikupatie one go from chukue. Sasa. Lakini ni changamoto gani mnapata saa hizi hapa Januari? So asla fanda iku asaidia. Au kuchua, au kuchua. Okay. Bana. Kwa majino naituwa nani? Kwa majino naituwa na chingo sana. So, biyashara ikuwa aje i januari? Biyashara ikuwa aje i januari. Kidogo, kidogo. Kuna haso, hapa na pala. Lazimu ujitunga. Kweli. Asla fund? Asla fund. 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 Kweli. Ni sawa sawa. Tumeshukuru. Changamoto kani? Changamoto lazima kuanzia zamani. 
changamoto hizo tunapambana nazo lazima tungangana na kweli vile inafaa ni sawa sawa Anza tuna wewe mwenyewe unaitwa Mtwa Wilo. Wilo. Yeah. So wewe ni mse wa Ndudhi. Ni mse wa Ndudhi hapo na hapa sasa. Busy kwa aje? Busy. Ndio tunangangana tu online. Eh na kwa wadi tunasikia tu hiyo tu hata kuna watamani. Eh. Lakini tunataka tu hivyo hivyo bana. Kweli. Eh. Lakini nikuulize wewe ni changamoto gani unafesa hizo kama unawasaidia? Ni za tu ya So at this point we were headed to the market and uh, we were so tired. I was on heels and I remember majority of you were laughing at me because I was on heels. But anyway, I did manage still at the end of the day. But anyway, this uh, around this particular area, we have actually one of uh, Katie's cousins who's actually um, uh, an entrepreneur uh, when it comes to ta things like fruits. Uh, sh he does m sell fruits, you know, melons, which I hate the most, actually. But uh, I think he's really, really doing amazing in the business industry. So as actually when we arrived here, we did... Uh, Katie did uh, catch a couple personally don't take melons so I'm not gonna say I did but Katie Shmani did catch a couple of melons they had there but uh, he also gave us some tips on his business you know he gave us the pro and cons of businesses and maybe these are some of the things you want to consider when you come uh, to st when, maybe when you want to start a business in Africa as you can see there's one of the customers we found there you know she was also buying and uh, he was actually so busy before he gave us his time. But I hope you get to enjoy the rest of the video. But in case it is your first time here, remember, you can hit that like button, share button, and subscription button. And of course, get to share with your family and friends and get to see some of these amazing, amazing places and amazing people we have right here in Kenya. Yes, we do have struggles, but it doesn't mean that we can't make them better. We can't change the situation. You can see people are willing to talk. It's just all about who's bringing the change. That's what's up. So I get you. I hope you get to like the rest of the video, like, share, and subscribe, and much love. What are the challenges do you face? Am I, how well is your business doing? My business is So you have challenges. Yeah. What challenges? Challenges sometimes there is no customers. There is no melons. Really customers. <laughs> <laughs> melons. There are no melons. Yeah, sometimes expensive. Uh huh. Oh, so it even gets harder for you to sell them because they are expensive. Yeah. And the the price you get them at retail. Market price. Mm -hmm. to one customer. 
Is it for a whole? How much is this? Half a melon. One hundred. One hundred. 